In an age where digital content pervades our daily lives, an increasingly pertinent concern emerges, the profound impact of consuming distressing and graphic material on the human brain and mental health. The ubiquity of disturbing content in various forms of media poses a significant challenge raising questions about its potential effects on our neurological functioning, psychological well-being and overall societal health. While individual responses may vary, it is crucial to delve deeper into the intricate mechanisms that underpin the brain's response to such content. The human brain, a complex and resilient organ, interacts with the information it receives, shaping perceptions, emotions, and behavioral responses. However, prolonged exposure to distressing material can instigate a cascade of neurological and psychological changes, leading to multifaceted consequences that extend beyond the individual. This video aims to explore, dissect, and elucidate the intricate workings of the brain in response to excessive exposure to disturbing content. By examining the neurological impact, psychological consequences, timeframes, and long-term effects, this analysis seeks to unravel the intricacies of how such exposure alters brain function, influences behavior, and potentially jeopardizes a mental well-being. The brain's emotional response involves regions like the amygdala and prefrontal cortex. In the brain, the amygdala and prefrontal cortex play crucial roles in emotional processing and regulation. The amygdala, often referred to as the emotional center, is responsible for the perception of emotions like anger, fear, and sadness. It also plays a key role in controlling aggression. On the other hand, the prefrontal cortex is involved in regulating our thoughts, actions, and emotions, forming extensive connections with other brain regions to facilitate intelligent decision-making. With repeated exposure to disturbing content, these brain regions can undergo changes. The amygdala may become less sensitive to emotional stimuli, leading to reduced responsiveness to emotions like fear or sadness. This desensitization is linked to alterations in neurotransmitter activity, specifically involving dopamine and serotonin. Dopamine and serotonin are neurotransmitters that modulate mood and emotional responses. Prolonged exposure to distressing material can disrupt the balance of these neurotransmitters, affecting emotional regulation. Dopamine is associated with pleasure and reward, and its dysregulation may contribute to a blunted emotional response. Serotonin, known for its role in mood stabilization, can also be impacted, further influencing emotional states. The desensitization observed in the amygdala and potential changes in neurotransmitter activity highlight the adaptability of the brain. However, these adaptations may lead to consequences such as reduced emotional responsiveness and altered emotional regulation, emphasizing the intricate ways in which the brain responds to prolonged exposure to disturbing content. Continuous exposure to distressing material can lead to heightened activity in the amygdala, this hyperactivity triggers the body's stress response, involving the hypothalamus and the release of stress hormones like cortisol. The amygdala's increased sensitivity to emotional stimuli can initiate a chronic state of physiological arousal. In this state, the prolonged release of cortisol contributes to heightened anxiety levels. The stress response, designed for coping with perceived threats, becomes chronic due to ongoing exposure to disturbing content. This interplay between the hyperactive amygdala, stress hormones, and sustained physiological arousal illustrates how continuous exposure to distressing material can lead to lasting impacts on mental well-being, emphasizing the intricate connection between the brain's emotional processing and the body's physiological responses.
The brain sleep architecture gets disrupted due to the emotional intensity of disturbing content. The heightened emotional arousal before bedtime interferes with the brain's transition to restful states, impacting the consolidation of memories during sleep, primarily mediated by the hippocampus. Neural exposure to distressing material can induce alterations in neural pathways involved in memory encoding and retrieval, particularly affecting the hippocampus and the anterior cingulate cortex. The hippocampus, vital for forming new memories, may undergo changes that disrupt the normal processes of encoding and retrieving memories. Simultaneously, the anterior cingulate cortex, responsible for emotional processing, can be impacted, contributing to heightened emotional distress associated with disturbing memories. These alterations may manifest as symptoms resembling those seen in PTSD, including flashbacks, intrusive thoughts, and emotional distress. The interplay between the hippocampus and the anterior cingulate cortex underscores the intricate relationship between memory and emotion. The potential long-term consequences of these alterations emphasize the significance of understanding how exposure to distressing content can impact the neural mechanisms involved in memory and emotional processing, shedding light on the broader implications for mental health. Changes in the brain's reward circuitry, particularly the ventral striatum and orbitofrontal cortex, can affect decision-making and emotional regulation. This alteration might contribute to increased aggression and emotional detachment due to reduced sensitivity to rewarding or empathetic stimuli. Repeated exposure to disturbing content can also lead to changes in perception, altering one's threshold for what is considered normal or acceptable behavior, known as moral desensitization. The duration and severity of these neurological and psychological changes can depend on various factors, including genetic predisposition, duration and intensity of exposure, individual resilience, and prior mental health conditions, diminished emotional resilience, impaired social functioning, and an increased risk of developing mental health conditions like anxiety disorders or depression. Some changes can manifest quickly, while others might take longer to become apparent. Through a lens informed by neuroscience, psychology, and the interplay between media consumption and mental health, this exploration endeavors to shed light on the critical importance of understanding the potential ramifications of our media choices. By fostering awareness and knowledge, individuals can make informed decisions regarding their media consumption habits,